All right, for the uh, purpose of installing and programming this device, I'm going to use the um, gaming rig that we have downstairs. Um, this is the this is the mouse that we're going to be using, and um, this is the cheap keyboard that came with my Acer desktop. Uh, unfortunately, the gaming keyboard that we used to have. Um, the wire snapped, the uh, connector cable snapped uh, during a rage fit. Um, uh, anyway, long story, we're not going to get into it. Um, the uh, Razer uh, headset, okay, and uh, we're gonna we're waiting for the computer to boot up so once we get there we'll uh, give you an instructional video as to how to install set up the Eagle Eye alright um, okay so the Eagle Eye comes with a pretty lengthy uh, USB cord attached to it I guess so that uh, you can um, hook it up to your PS3 and then sit way back um, or where your sofa might be and sit at the coffee table, I don't know. But anyway, the instruction tells us that we need to plug the device into the computer, but make sure that the setting on the bottom of the Eagle Eye is set to play, uh, not program, okay? So you have to have it set on play, and then we'll hook up the device down here um, I usually don't do one-handed videos I use you like to use the tripod but this is on the fly bear with me this is my first time so um, we're going we're uh, ad-libbing <laughs> most of this stuff here so if I make some mistakes don't uh, act as if I should be an expert at this um, Here's the CD, here's the Eagle Eye, the red light has come on to indicate I guess we plugged it in. But anyway, uh, the next thing on the instructions, insert the CD. Okay, well, let's insert the CD. Hmm. Alright. So, this is how you map the uh, keyboard. Just to give you the demonstration. Uh, the left analog stick here has one, two, three, four, five blanks. Um, so I'm assuming that uh, the programmers and the developers already knew that uh, more than likely you're going to use the left analog stick for directional uh, control um, or move directional movement control. So the top, very top, uh, uh, m that would place you moving the stick forward. I'm going to assign W to that, okay? And as you see, it, when I type W, it recognized here. And then I'm going to move the cursor to the next one here. And then I'm going to press A. Okay. And then I'm going to go over here and press D. Here's the advanced calibration. You can set the uh, dead zone, the sensitivity. Uh, and all that stuff here okay and uh, once we get everything and you can set the combos too so combo one combo two combo three so there's a lot of options here alright so basically what I've done is um, I've assigned uh, um, L2 to Q L1 to uh, right mouse button uh, R, R2 uh, is E R1 is left mouse button and I've assigned, assigned these directional pad buttons to uh, 1, 2, 3 and 4 the select button is number 5 start button is number 6 the uh, triangle uh, key is F square is C uh, circle is V uh, X is uh, mo most of the time X is jumping so I assign space to that 
the control button for the R3 uh, when you press it down and the R2 is L uh, um, uh, shift the shift button and the, uh, the look button is W A D and S I've set the X uh, sensitivity uh, to uh, almost midway and the uh, Y uh, sensitivity to uh, the same level and uh, then after you map the keyboard you send it to the device and I guess that's how Alright, so uh, you do have to assign the uh, mapping for the combo but uh, the combo slots and uh, the abort slots and now let's try sending it to the device and we'll click OK done alright so we have set this map configuration to the device now I can unplug it from the computer and take it over to my PS3 and I can use any keyboard and any mouse to um, start playing. Hopefully it'll work fine. Give you a demonstration. So um, I found this old dinosaur uh, mouse here laying around. So we're going to use this for the PS3. And um, for some reason I can't find any of the keyboards, the old keyboards that were laying around the couple that I did find they were not USB keyboards so do not try to use a uh, wireless keyboards and mouse uh, it, it says on the direction I mean in the instructional manual that it's not compatible with uh, majority of your key wireless keyboards and mouses so don't even bother uh, who would do that anyway well uh, I mean a true gamer uses everything that's wired and the only thing uh, I could imagine that you would want wireless is your headset or, or Bluetooth, whatever. But, um, you know, this is the Logitech, and uh, we'll, we'll get a, a Logitech keyboard for the PS3. Um, the, I know the PS3 has one that is Bluetooth uh, wireless uh, made by Logitech specifically for the PS3, but I'm not, not going to get that because this uh, Eagle Eye instructional manual specifically says do not attempt to use wireless devices uh, because it's not going to be more than likely it's not going to be compatible okay so uh, we got the mouse but we'll have to find us an extra keyboard somewhere uh, I know there's one laying around here somewhere an old antique one that's USB I just don't have the time to go look for it but once we set it all up We'll get going.